Good morning, sixth graders, and welcome back to your first writing block since break. I know that some of us are in different places with this, depending on if you're in Spellhouse or Howard or Tuskegee. So we're going to start with a little bit of, of a review because some of us have not started our memoir speeches at all. So first, a memoir speech. What is a memoir speech? Correct. It is a speech made up of memory. So this should be familiar to all of us because that's what Steve Jobs' speech is. Go ahead and write that down. Awesome. So just the same way Steve Jobs made up a speech, that commencement address made up of his own memories, you are going to do the same thing. It is very important that your speech has an overall theme and then tells three memories, just like how Steve Jobs does in his speech. And each memory is going to have his own tone. But first, quick review. What is theme? Good. And then what is tone? All right, so theme, there's going to be one for your whole speech, but then each one of those three memories has its own tone. You are going to be brainstorming this today, and we actually start writing tomorrow. Again, for those of you in Spellhouse, this may seem like a bit of a review, but we've had two weeks off, so we're going to go ahead and redo this brainstorm. So an example of a theme you could have in yours. Mine would be, if you are patient, good things can happen. Sometimes things in life just take time. Because when I think about my life and a lesson that I think I could teach others, I realize that patience has been a big part of my life. So that's what my speech is going to be about. Go ahead and jot down what you want the theme of your speech to be. Make sure you can have at least three stories that do teach your reader this lesson. Unpause when you're done. Okay, good. So if you're watching this right now, you should have the theme of the speech you're going to write right in here. Okay, so now as you're trying to think of memory one, I am right now thinking, okay, I know I have to talk about three memories in my speech, and they all have to teach the reader that if you're patient, good things happen. So, all right, here's a first example of the first story I'm going to tell. There was this one time that food took a long time to come at a restaurant, and the chef came at the end and apologized. He said that it was late just because he wanted to cook it perfectly for me, and he slightly burned it the first time. So he wanted to redo it, and then he gave me a free dessert for waiting so patiently for my food at the restaurant. So that's the first memory that I'm going to share to try and teach my readers that if you're patient, good things happen. Because like being patient and waiting for my food also got me a free dessert. So now go ahead, take a look at your theme, and think of a story in your life that if you tell people that, it will teach them this theme. If you can't think of one, then you will have to change your theme because your story has to teach that. Go ahead and jot down a memory right here. Okay, so if you're watching this, you should have already thought of a memory and jotted down what it's going to be. And then remember that tone is the way your reader is going to feel when they read that memory. So this is a pretty aggravating story. I'm going to tell it in a way that when the reader reads it, they're going to realize, wow, you know, they waited forever for their food to come. It was burnt the first time. It turned out okay at the end. But the tone of the whole story is going to be pretty aggravated. So think about what you want your reader to feel like when they're reading this story. Okay, fantastic. So right now you should have your theme, memory one, and your tone. Go ahead now and think of a second memory, another thing that happened in your life that would teach the reader whatever theme you chose. So for example, waiting all night in the doctor's office to find out how my grandmother's surgery went. That is definitely a story that teaches you patience. And my theme is about patience. And the tone of that's going to be very sad, scary, emotional, suspenseful. This is a really emotional time for me in my life when I had to be patient to figure out if my grandmother's surgery went okay. So now think of another memory and jot down the tone for these next two boxes that will teach your theme. All right, fantastic. You should have the hang of this by now. I'll give you an example of a third one. I kept asking my mom to hurry up baking a cake, so she rubbed a bunch of frosting in my face. That's an example of me not being patient, and look what happened. So this is going to be a more humorous tone. This is another memory of something that happened to me once that taught me that if I was patient, good things would have happened. This is a time I was not very patient, and look at what happened. So I want my reader to feel a humorous tone when I share this memory. Go ahead, choose another story that teaches this theme, and then jot down the tone of it. Okay, so at this point, you should be realizing that all different stories can make you feel different ways. Each of your three stories should have a very different tone to it, but they should all be teaching this one overall lesson here at the top. If you are done with that, then go ahead and make sure you just proofread this and make sure it's really strong. If you're confused, please ask for help. But other than that, take out an independent reading book.